Okay, so from content here, we're going to deal with uh, video and a bit of audio all in the same video here. And there's other videos I have on them too, <coughs> but I'm going to do an updated one here too. So I have a link up here uh, to freevideocoding.com, and that I'm linked to from FOL. I also have this site that gives you a really simple one just for audio, and it's a QuickTime plugin, and most browsers should have that plugin. And that goes from this site here, okay? So, and I'm also going to go and try some really simple stuff in here. And then for video, you'll see some different ways to do it here if you have your own video and different video types. But I recommend just using stuff on YouTube, uploading it there and then embedding the YouTube video. And there's a separate video for that you can watch in my playlist. Uh, so let's start with the really simple stuff that W3 suggests. So they say, easiest way to add audio to your site is just to use this code here and then you would have to have this song in your site somewhere, okay? So we're going to um, grab this, and I, I feel like that's missing something. But I never start the script, but we're going to grab this code and try it out and see how it works. I know that one works, and I know these other ones work, so we're going to try that one really quick as well. Um, so I've set up an area for featured media here, and I'm going to have some videos and stuff that's inside of my site. So this is a little different than the YouTube embed. These files will actually have inside of our site. So first thing we're going to do is go to the main site folder make a new folder and call it media. And then inside of media, we can make a couple folders, one for video, okay, and one for audio, okay? And we can try each of these things. So in these folders and windows, I'm gonna put some files in so that I can actually test this out. So I'm actually in the process of trying to download some Flock of Seagulls, because I, I keep talking them up, but I actually didn't have any. So we'll just go grab some other music and any anything will work. Um, uh, maybe something 80s would be good at least, but here Bon Jovi we can deal with that. Um, yeah, yeah, a decent song, right? So make a copy of it. Carefully you don't start pulling stuff right out of your music folder, right? And then in Windows Explorer, go to where your site is and put it into your media folder. Okay, so this should make perfect sense to you guys given everything you learned earlier on in the course. So we have the advanced demo site, which is, where the heck is it? Uh, oh, wait a minute, I do this every time. Which I saved on my desktop like I wanted you guys to do because it would be easier to find. There it is right there. Inside of the site folder, we have media, audio, an MP3. Take the name, get all the spaces and everything out of it so you know uh, you won't have any issues with it loading up because of weird characters and just go You can spell it right out if you want, but see how I don't have any spaces. I'm using characters for everything So there's an mp3. It's already an mp3. You don't have to type in dot mp3 I just had you renaming it just for the sake of renaming it uh, Video files and you can see on that one site. There's it will load up uh, Most types of video files, and I think I have one of my baby right in here there should be a video in here, maybe not. Some videos from the camera. Uh, no. I think it'll be maybe down at the bottom. There's a video of me with the baby, so make a copy of that. So we have a video to try something with, okay? And you can use any video, obviously. It'd be better if you had a flock of seagulls video. All right, go to the site, back into the media folder and put your files in. So your first job, if you're going to embed stuff in your site or make it play from your site or even just link to it from your site where people just click on it and it just plays using whatever plugin the site has, you need to get these into your site folder and upload them to your server. And I'm going to call this uh, Flock of Seagull Baby. So we're going to pretend this was one of the guys in the band when he was a baby. Okay. And now I've got a couple files to work with. Okay, so first really obvious and easy way to create um, uh, a spot where people can actually use the media is if I want somebody to play this mp3, I can literally go uh, play a song by a competing 80s band, but it's not Flock of Seagulls, all right? Okay, I can highlight the text, that'll be my link text, and instead of linking to a page, I make the link the mp3. And I can do so the same thing with uh, <laughs> as 
a baby. Okay, and I can do the same thing with the video. And I can make it like a link. And this will use what the browser has as a plugin to play it. Now, alternatively, this, is, this, is, this will not get you your multimedia points on your project, by the way. This is not quite good enough. Because all that's doing is making a hyperlink, and they're very simple, as you can see. I'd like it to actually play, okay? So we're going to try a few different things and then load them up in the browser and see what happens. All right, so W3 suggests, hey, try this. Now, some of these might not work in certain browsers. That's why you like to try different ones and see what works the best. Go to code whenever you get a code that's copied. Okay, go into that current paragraph break. We're going to try this, except the song isn't song mp3. It's just the song is right here. And the path just happens to be right above it, so we can copy the path. But you have to put the full file path and then the song title and extension in there for that song to play. Okay? So we're going to try that. We're not going to put any text or anything in there. It just says play song. That's the text. All right, so that's pretty much the same as what I did, I think. But they're involving some other kind of thing from Yahoo that should bring in some media player. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Okay? Then, take it another step further you embed the actual player okay so this is where they say embed with audio controls and everything all right so we're going to grab this we're going to copy it we're going to go into dreamweaver go to code go into the next paragraph break and try this so this gives us 50 high you know it could be a little bit higher you can change the height you can make it like two 170 wide maybe you can kind of adjust this and then you got to fix this again okay so the song source is right here and you could make this song source not even on your server if you end up storing songs elsewhere okay now the type is an mp3 um, oh I see they gave us both here okay so we don't actually need uh, oh no, this is right. Um, this should be song source. So anywhere you see the song, you just fix it. This we don't need because we don't have that file type. And technically, I don't think you need this either. I think all you need is the type. They gave you all three different file types, which is a little unusual. Most of them just have an MP3 in there. So we're going to try that one. And when you go to design, it'll just have a little thing there because you don't have a plugin in Dreamweaver. And it'll probably do the same thing even in Live View. Um, yeah, it's trying to load a player, but it's not really. So this is where you need to start previewing in the browser, right? Oh, come on, keep responding. And that's all there really is to it, uh, with all these different versions of plugins. Like, we're just trying the different types. All you got to do is use them and change the file path. That's literally it. So there's a bunch of different kinds here, and I got to these on W3. This is probably your simplest one, okay? Embed source and then do an auto start and not an auto start and it, it will automatically use QuickTime as your plugin. Okay? And this is extremely short, but I think it still works. So we're gonna try this. Yeah, I know. Turn it off live view. Okay, and we're gonna try that one right below the other one we just tried. And this the reason I'm doing it this way guys is because there's so many different ones out there and some work in the browser and some don't. So you just want to try a few and see what works, and you can literally grab this many this quickly. Put that in there. Auto start, you can make true so it actually starts by itself. Right now it's false, so it won't, it won't start by itself. Okay, and that one again is just another plugin that is not seen. Okay, if we want to take it one step further, even more. Okay, we're going to jump off W3. We're going to jump off this one, which I did link to from FOL for you. This site allows you to specify the file type ahead of time, and then you can use it in pretty much any browser, but they, you have to be careful, they don't always work in any browser. Um, and this is more so for video, but if you use it, uh, embed the player, enable autoplay, yes, display controls, yes, 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 make HTML, you got something like this, all right? And you could do it with different types of video and all that. So we go into code view. We put it in. It's got, it's kind of big. Um, let's make it more like 200. Let's make it a height of 100 because all we're doing is playing audio. Uh, type would be audio quick time. And there's a way on the site to change that. But bad. Okay, where do we put the file? What the heck? 
source right there. Holy cow. Anytime you want to put the file in, you always got to find the source. And you can remove links like that, like they're trying to stick in there. So embed source. So where's the file? And you don't need the full HTTP because you already have the file in here. Oh, right. That's This was for the purpose of video, right? We don't want to mess with that. This was the whole point was to do a video with this one. So we take the flock of seagulls video, which we did have up here, the already file path for it, the already existing file path, put it right in the quotes. I mean, this whole process, guys, with plugging in multimedia, I'm literally borrowing code and plugging in the file path every time. That's all I'm doing, and you've probably already noticed that. I've changed the size of the player a little bit and stuff like that. So again, same deal. You don't see the plugin and see how they stuck that in there. You could get rid of that if you want. Um, even if I go to live view, the plugins won't work. So once we finish something like that, I just made this media section on our home page. You probably have like a full media page. I'm gonna save the changes and I'm gonna go and try and load this in a couple browsers and see what happens. So let's try Firefox because we know that one's fairly compatible. So if we go into our site and load up the page with this stuff on it, let's go with Firefox. Let's see which ones work. And a bunch of them might start all playing together because we have a lot going on there. Um, Okay, so you can see that that initial thing, play song, was just a, a, a hyperlink. That didn't, really didn't work, okay? So you, automatically, I mean, you just got to click on it. So that one didn't give us much more than, uh, than a hyperlink. So now here's where we're running into, uh, oh, come on, whatever. No unsafe operation. It's probably getting confused because I'm trying to play so many things off one page. Uh, but what you have here with the ones that were actually full embed players is the audio player comes up and you can pause it and start it and stuff like that. And then, um, hmm, we might have an issue here. If I scroll down a bit, the other one, you could see the video had started loading. Ugh. I got too many windows open, guys. But this gets into that part of that lecture I was talking about where you don't want to overdo things on your site. I'm doing it on purpose as an example, but you can see what happens. It, it overloads the browser and it can't handle it, okay? Um, so we are going to end task on that one. Okay. Well, I can barely even end the task. And maybe we'll try this in another browser just to see what happens. It may, it may sort of uh, crash my browsers uh, because yeah, I know that. Because I have so much going on on one page. But we're going to try Chrome. Now, Chrome is a very stripped down browser, so a lot of these won't work in Chrome. But they should work in Firefox, Safari, and most work in Explorer, not all of them. So we're going to try each of those browsers as well. So load it up in Chrome, which is my default browser. See how it does. Now, Chrome, again, you have to turn these add-ins on. That's why Chrome is so fast. I think at least one of those will work, though. Yeah, so the first one worked, OK? There, the only one that didn't work was the QuickTime thing, so I have to add the QuickTime plugin for it to work, okay? This one worked, and it's already playing. Um, this one, I believe you'd have to reload or play the video to get it to work. Oh, no, that was the song, that one. So that one's not working either, actually. That was an audio player, and that was not coming in. Now, if I put QuickTime in, that would work, but this is the these are the obstacles you run into. Uh, let's run. These are the obstacles you run into when when you use stuff like that. See, so if I run the QuickTime, then the video actually plays. And this one, see, some of them don't always work, right? This one's just not even working. So that's not a code I would I would use then. It depends on which browser you want it to work in and how compatible you want it to be. And these ones are literally just those really simple links where I just added the song and made it a hyperlink. And that you can just play and it'll use the browser's default media player. All right, so let's try Explorer now for one last sample. Okay, so in Explorer, I believe, see, and you can see our forms working on every page. You're going to have trouble because I've turned off, what's the low block content? I've turned off most of these plugins, so my Explorer actually works decent. Um, yeah, but it's still, the audio is still working. And the uh, the one that not that's not working is actually that one I put above here. So this one that didn't work in Chrome is now working. I could adjust the size of this dramatically. My video is working, okay? Um, but the other one's not working. So these, these are all the things that I want you guys to see. So the video, the one I chose for that, I don't know if you noticed in, in Firefox, it had loaded up. So that worked in all browsers. 
these types of things work in all browsers. Um, but the audio player only worked in some and not in others. Uh, there's actually one that I used on my dad's site that I know works in all browsers. So maybe I should just give you that in this video. So if you want an audio player that works well and you don't want to go searching all around for it, uh, the one that I used on my dad's home page, okay, was an object media player and it loads Windows media player and it does work in all browsers. So I could give you this Actually, where did I get this from? Um, I had just searched for this in Google, but I could give you this in uh, in the news section of the FOL site. So I'm gonna go do that right now in the video. So the, for the people that watched it, they'll actually know that it's there. Um, because you're gonna you're gonna want to play audio on your site, maybe on one of the pages is one of your multimedia items, and you might have trouble getting one that works in all browsers. So audio player that works in all browsers and I'm just gonna give you the code right there and you would just put uh, file name and path in here dot mp3 and then you do the same thing here um, file file name and path dot mp3 so you just put their your path and file name so that's where it came from it's actually a Microsoft tool and it's very rare that Microsoft makes something that's very that's compatible more so than other stuff, but this particular item is. So there you go. So now it's an FOL for you. So there's an example from several different sites on how to embed audio video. If you want to embed a YouTube video, just watch that video because it's way, way easier than what I just showed you there. That's if you want it on your own server, okay? And that covers from week nine this link and this link among some others, okay?